Hi, my name is Ben Howard. Welcome to this YouTube video. Um, recently, I've been importing dates into Power BI that have a different date format to my regional settings. So, what I want to do in this video is run you through how to get around those scenarios. Okay, so what have we got here? You can see that I've got a uh, rather an Excel file with three columns, column A, B and C. Uh, column A is US format, column B is UK date format and column C is kind of a long format. So let's just look at this cell here first. So the cell C2. The long format for that is Tuesday the 9th of May. In the UK we would write that in this format. Okay, so that would be the 9th of the 5th, 2023. So the 9th of May, 2023. And you can see Excel recognizes that as a date format. If we go over here, this is how the Americans would write that. They would say, this is May the 9th. So they put the month before the day. So 05092023 would be May the 9th, 2023. So that's okay. However, as a UK person and on a UK system, I would read that as the 5th of September 2023. And that's what Excel is doing. Excel still thinks that this is a valid date. Okay, let's go back to, or rather let's go to cell 3, C3. So the 28th of March 2022. We would write that the 28th of 03 2022. So that's how we do it in the UK. Our American friends, of course, would write March 28-2, which Excel will not understand as a date format. You can see that Excel doesn't know that it's a date format because it's put the format or classified the data format as general. As far as Excel is concerned, this date 032822 is just a piece of text. OK, and we know that because in effect, it's left justified it as opposed to this value, which it recognizes as a date. The 5th of September 2023 is what it's recognizing that as and it left justifies it. So how do I deal with this in Power BI? Well, let's switch over to Power BI and have a look. OK, the first thing to note about Power BI is that there are some regional settings, both global regional settings and for the current file. You can see the regional settings in the Power BI. Options here are to use the application language and settings. But then if we go into the current file, you can see we have a locale for import. So my locale, again, is set to my local language which for me again is English United Kingdom but I could go and set it to something else if I was going over to the States maybe I would set this to English United States I'm going to leave it as English United Kingdom here and then I'm going to bring in that CSV file that we talked about I'm going to do this directly in Power Query because this is where it makes sense to show you uh, what we're going to do OK, so I'm going to click on new source and I'm going to get the data from our text stroke CSV file. Now, obviously, Power Query gives me a preview of that data. There's nothing I can really do at this stage. I just have to click on OK and import the data. So let's have a look at what's happened. The first thing that Power Query has done is it's promoted the headers. So I've got the US date format and the UK date format and then the long format. And then it tries to change the type. And you can see it's been successful for the UK format. So it's been able to successfully interpret those values as dates. Remember, it just brings them in as CSV values and tries to understand what they've done. It cannot, because I'm based in the UK, understand and interpret this column US date format because this value, this second column, doesn't exist as a date in the UK in this format. So let's just go and have a look at what would happen if I change this to be a date. We'll just add a new step at the end there. OK, what happens, of course, is these values get errors because we cannot convert that value 032822 into a date format in UK format. It doesn't work. So let's just get rid of that. 
and get rid of that. Okay, what we can do instead is use this feature called use locale. So if I click to change for format, but go down to the bottom saying using locale, then what I'm able to do is say this is a date, but it's a date presented to me in the US locale. And once we've done that, then of course the US date format is understood and I get all of those dates coming in without any errors. What would I do about this long format here? Well, we just come in and I wouldn't bother changing that. So I would come in and just remove the change here from the long format, which we can do by just pressing delete and then getting rid of that final comma. And that should just leave that long format as a piece of text. So, okay, so there you have it. Fairly simple, really. You can do all of that in Power Query. The trick is to drop down the menu options and go right to the bottom where it says using locale. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.